Greetings dear viewer, today we will be playing against the one and only Vayne top lane. It's not looking very good for us, right? This matchup is a little bit difficult, but I'll try to teach you guys how, how you can manage in difficult matchups such as Vayne, but uh, let's talk about Vayne specifically, right? This is like, uh, I would say it's like the nightmare of top laners, right? You lock in your favorite top lane champion, you're expecting something manly, right? Something, something honorable, a 1v1 death to the duel, perhaps. But then you get the enemy vein pick, right? But fortunately for you guys, I got the secret sauce for this matchup, right? So I would feel like on many top lane champions, actually, running fleet footwork makes a lot of sense in the range champions. And it might not be for the reason that you think, actually. Because fleet footwork is no longer a lane sustain keystone, actually. It used to be a lane sustain keystone, but it's not that anymore. I don't think so. Because actually the power of fleet footwork comes in late game healing, truly. That's where it shines. And in early game, it's about the movement speed, all right? It's about the movement speed. Now, I will be going into lane. I will take this path a little bit later to see if Vayne was trying to solo invade, perhaps on my Viego. And I will try to get blade placement somehow and just use passive shield to block the auto attack, right? Vayne's Q cooldown at level one with the changes in 14.5 is six seconds, okay? So we have to keep this 6 second timer in mind. He's gonna be looking for a new Q here. Okay, he queued on the minions. I can't get the minions, so I'm gonna have to back off. That was a fortunate, uh, in unfortunate uh, time to walk up, right? I used passive shield to the max here, uh, denying some damage. Oop, I'm gonna walk back a little bit. And now we just need to get the experience, okay? That's that's what you need to do versus Ven. You get the experience. And it's true for most range matchups. And here, look. Fleet footwork movement speed, right? You walk up, you hit the wave, and you get movement speed that allows you to walk back because you are all about like diminishing the damage. It's not about the eight healing that fleet footwork has given. It's about the times you dodge one out of like, because of the movement speed. Like like here, look, look. She would have gotten her third uh, W stack on me if I did not have um, the fleet footwork movement speed. The wave is quite large here, so I'm going to be a little bit scared i'm gonna walk back here it's gonna be quite difficult it's gonna be quite difficult she used ghost so back off like i don't know man this viego gank uh, i personally don't like it because of the fact that there's a huge wave right like we can't fight in the huge wave this is gonna be interesting it's gonna be really interesting here an interesting dilemma we have put ourselves in She charmed me. Oh, and I block it with W. I'm gonna back off now. Don't wanna die. Woo. Did you see what happened? So I, gain, I engaged at the uh, same moment as Evelyn charm is uh, timing on me. Which means that it's most likely that they will engage at that time, right? I E-flash. And the vein thought I was in this location. She had casted Condemn on me. And the moment I kind of sense that, okay, they're gonna go on me, I'm gonna E-flash, and now the Condemn puts me in a very different position than it would have originally, right? She wanted to get the walls done here and they wanted to one-shot me, right? But that did not happen because I pulled the trigger fast. And this is why you need to have flash uh, a Shen into matchups like this, because the thing that you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be locking down one target. And in order to do that, you need flash if you can't be in range. So I've been running uh, Ignite into most um, most melee champions in top lane. If she freezes this, then it is what it is. Um, ideally, I would actually. I wonder if Steel Caps is right. I wonder if it is right. I think I can get this wave shoved in. Like she shouldn't be able to stop me, right? It's a really huge wave. Like she she should. Oh, no, I, I screwed up. It doesn't matter though. Oh no, I messed up. I messed up bad. I need to get the wave in, that's why I'm hitting the minion. Okay, I messed up bad, guys. <laughs> they, oh no, and this, she's gonna help me freeze. I can get steel caps though. It's 8 gold that I need. So this is enough, and then I just need to spam this. Steel caps is not good versus Evelyn, obviously. This could be a kill. I don't know, maybe Vayne made a mistake here. Like, now we're gonna crash the wave. <laughs> Thank you, Blitzcrack. 
I'm gonna just E in and get that kill with one other. Like, I think we're fine actually. I think we're fine. Like I'ma be honest, like as a as a top laner, I had no other choice but to stay there. When when someone pulls a freeze like that on you, when there's like a literally two and a half waves stacked up, I'm just gonna say, okay, like I'm gonna stay here. If the enemy jungler comes, it's unlucky. Then then we're gonna die to the enemy jungler. But there's no way I'm letting you freeze that for free. And Evelyn had to give up something else on the map. Oh no! I, oh my lord! Just don't don't look, guys. Don't look. I want to make a play both side. I want to make something. After after missing those minions that badly, I was too focused on going like talking, like whatever. Just <laughs> just go for a play somewhere else. <laughs> Top lane seems to not be working out for me. Walk back towards your blade so that you can W. Evelyn's here again or what? I'm gonna walk upwards. I think I lost some experience there. My bad. Uh, I'm thinking about my build here. Um, they have two high magic damage champions. Bye bye, hide in the bush, right? Getting control of bushes is quite important when you're into melee versus ranged. It's I would arguably say that it's more important for the ranged champion, right? Like you can you can manage without, but like if you're playing a ranged champion versus a melee champion that is possibly strong enough to kill you, then you need to take control of the bushes. There was this one vein player on Korea that was purchasing double control burn on every back, so that she can literally just abuse the opponent in bushes because you can just control the bushes. But this is more of like a high 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 low tactic because lower elo players will not appreciate the power of the bushes in melee versus ranged matchups. Plus for Shen, it's not that pronounced because like I can't actually kill the vein uh, at all. I'm just wondering if there's an item that will allow me to kill her. Most likely not. I think it's more about perseverance and surviving. Uh, actually, my room page is called Perseverance, uh, the one that I'm running right now. Because that's what you need to have, right? You need to be super patient and you need to wait for the opponent to make a mistake. It's not about you creating an opportunity. It's about op opponent creating an opportunity for you. She seems to be concentrated on pushing the wave. So I'm not taking as much damage, but I truly think Fleet Footwork gets a lot of value in this matchup. And think about the movement speed value, right? That's what I want you guys to think about. I got it. Use W there to block the last uh, vein W. It will deal a lot of damage, right? And she will for sure try to go for it, so you can predict it. Okay, maybe good. I'm gonna get maybe eat here. Evelyn flashed. I can't catch up to Janna anyway, so I'll try to go for Evelyn. Probably can't. I'm gonna recall. I'm gonna lose a lot topside. I don't know if the ultimate was worth. Okay, grats. You stop my recall, but at what cost? Ah, uh, I tried to save. The reason why I delay my E so much is if I E directly here, um, Zer is just gonna follow up. But if I wait a little bit and go into this position, then if I E over here and she wants to follow me, then she will be in bridge range. I'm gonna go Anathema's chains here in this game. Um, not that way, I'm gonna go this way. I lost a lot of tower plating stop side. Now, alternative is to go directly into Titanic Hydra, which in hindsight might have been the correct option. I really like Anathema's chains into high damage targets because it actually opens up some kind of opportunities that you didn't have previously because um, the extra tenacity reduction that you get on the target uh, can mean a lot in these kinds of matchups where you're being pushed under tower constantly. The other thing about Anathema's chains why I feel like it has merit over Titanic Hydra in a matchup such as this is that I'm not affecting the game through my lane anyways, right? But what I am affecting the game through is my ultimates, right? And Anathemas has 20 ability haste, so that means more ultimates. And if I want to have a, like the maximum amount of control over the game, which I think is the correct assumption in solo queue, just gonna go for one out that get the fleet footwork movement speed E out. Just try to get any advantage that you can. I'm not using my E anyways within the next 10 seconds. So I might as well get like, I don't know, how much is it? 60 damage on the tower, that's something. <laughs> Hello, yes guys. Woohoo! <laughs> Range top laner. <laughs>
But don't don't start jokering out, you know. Don't become joker and hate society because you match against the range top laner. You just have to understand that she is strong now, right? She is strong now, but you're gonna be well. You're not really gonna be strong later. But the thing is, she's gonna make a mistake at some point, and that's when we punish. Mm, we're just gonna have to farm this out. But now comes the interesting part. Okay, this is the mind game, right? We need to catch her in a town, right? Leech crank looking for a roam. I'm gonna move out now when she wants to go for the Q out attack. Don't let her get the W for free. Mm. Woo, I'm running out. By the way, I'm running 8 ability haste from my runes because I know that E and W cooldown will be super important in this matchup. I used my W a little bit too late there. I think she's just gone. I'm gonna ult her. I'm gonna back off because Zeri is doing too much damage to me. Maybe I have to TP it up. Coming back in. No. Maybe Blitz can hit the hook. Want me crank that? You soldier. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say something, <laughs> but the man of re man of respect and culture would not use the H word. I mean the Superman. Um, anywho, 1,200 is the item purchase. I'm gonna get a tower plating, go out, and be happy with my items. And recall, so I can recall in front of the tower. I'm gonna finish Anatomus Chains, and then we're gonna work into Titanic Hydra. Firstly, Anatema's chance goes on Vayne. Use it immediately when you see her. That way, when we walk back to lane, we will already have stacked up most of the Anatema's chance damage reduction. Uh, don't delay it at all. Uh, but then later on, we can move it to Evelyn or Kassadin, right? Because these are going to be two champions that are going to be... Ideally, actually, the way it goes is... Okay, first Vayne. Then one, when we get more armor, it will go on Evelyn, because Evelyn will be stronger in the mid game. And then it will go on Kassadin. It might be the other way around, like if Evelyn doesn't get strong and Kassadin seems to be ahead, then we're just gonna put it on Kassadin immediately after Vayne is no longer a threat. Um, I mean, she's always gonna be a threat, but when Kassadin becomes more of a threat than Vayne, that's what I meant. Ah, uh, Viego was close to killing Evelyn there, but it's a little bit bad to give up a kill in the enemy jungle. Ay, 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 ay. You know why I'm missing this? Because I have the ability haste rune, right? Because I'm running double adaptive most of the time. Not coping, guys. Look at that trade. Only possible with Anathemas. Was this warded? Or did she get the auto attack off before I went out of vision? Now the fleet footwork sustain starts to come in. She has static shield. I'll start to push the wave fast. Hmm. Might actually need magic resistance this game. But definitely Titanic Hydra is next item. Because otherwise we can't really play the game if we are just perma pushed in. Zero. Zero. The zero is there from Anatema's damage reduction, right? Because I'm taking zero damage, so it's reducing zero as well. There it reduced 18. 15 seconds on my ultimate. I can ult after this wave. Soon, guys. Just five seconds. But do I ult at all? Maybe not. Actually not. Interesting. She wants to get a Q on me. I'm not gonna engage by myself. I don't have enough damage to kill her. And she might just press the ultimate button. Stay in your W as long as you can. She wants to get the minions here, so she's not gonna attack me as much. I'm just gonna farm this out. I think I have enough damage, yeah. I'm gonna ult if Vega needs me. Perfectly calculated. Reduce tenacity! Reduce tenacity! My brother. <laughs> oh, rip Viego. <laughs> My guy just did, went directly into enemies. 
But did you see that Viego W is done lasted for a long time and then my town comes in when Richard can't move because of the reduced tenacity? Extending the crowd control duration. Um, that is a little bit scary now. I'm gonna build into Tiamat first. Underrated thing about ability haste on Shen is the fact that it technically gives you more wave clear because you get to cast more Qs. I missed again. I missed cannon again. <laughs> Good job, Vladimir. Hey, maybe I can catch Seri here actually. Oh, well played. Use the blasting cone. Uh, but. Mariko is a bit scuffed. So I'll, I'll stay for one more wave. Just over 200 uh, gold. Plus Vayne's bot side, so technically it's good for me to push this in. That means that some of, someone has to respond top side. I'll just look for... Okay, there's a TP, yeah. I just need to get the recall off first. No! <laughs> Get stunned up. And Tiamat was on the wrong key again because I still have not made the change to the item set. Wait, what did I get stunned by? Was it. Did, wait, did she get condemned on me? She got condemned on me there. That's insane. She condemned me in the town animation. What? Or am I. Am I. I think I. Yeah. That's what happened. Okay, that's weird. I feel like that was my kill, but... 15 seconds ultimate, I think. Rip, Vladimir. Not good. Okay. But you're dead still, and now you lose flash. That's not good. I'm gonna use Anatema and Evelyn now. Side lane doesn't matter, it's just... I'm, maybe it goes on Cassidy. Well then, that was a mistake. I cost a lot for my team there. We have three breaks, that's a win condition. That's 750. I, I truly think that, like, bummy cinder items are not very good here in this game. Because I literally won't be on top of the enemies enough to trigger them. Okay, well this is an interesting situation. I don't know. I... I don't know what to do there. Like, I can't kill either of them. I don't know if I can escape. Um, I feel like dying quick is the best choice. I didn't expect them to stay, both of them. It's my bad. I'm losing the game for my team here. Mm. Okay. Do I match both side? I think I do. I feel this is farming top anyways. Uh, that's 350. We just fight for the cloud track, I think. Overlap passive shield on W, not good. We need to W there. I need to. I'm gonna ult on Vladimir. Third shit. I'm gonna need to recall and go in. No! Janna, really? <laughs> no, now it's too late. Okay, Aphelia sleeps. I'm gonna be in danger here. I thought Vladimir wanted the gold. No, 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 go, go, go. Which can move my speed. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh my, what a hook, but I think tower is dead. Movement speed, hey guys, no. <laughs> He's getting away, <laughs> ghost. No. I'm being a dash bot lane, which means that they have opportunity to get Baron. Was it my fault that she escaped? I feel like I didn't have any other tools there. Catch her. Vladimir kind of went the other side, but it was then... Hmm. Okay, she's here. Wait, is that an interaction I see? <laughs> Janna is here again. <laughs> no, man, I'm just eating on repeat. It's not good. Game feels a little bit difficult for me to play, I'm gonna be honest here. Mm. Okay, let's think about this a little bit. I think they just get it. There's a TP from Kassadin. I have ultimate when I respawn. Helios got caught. Diego may be big. Not there yet. I'm gonna ping on my way, but Janna is just gonna... Hey, 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 we get Drake here. Wait. That doesn't give enough gold. I mean, we get soul. This is good. It's a win condition. I mean, let's not talk too early, right? <laughs> You got it. Ooh, what a hook. Beautiful hook. A death sentence, except it's not trash. Oh, it's the same guy that we played in last video with Fiora. I missed a lot of minions. I need to back off here. I'm gonna die again on side lane like I have done for four times already this game. Uh, I should use now on Kassadin, I think, because of his shutdown. Down at Emma's, I mean. I'm gonna get cancelled here, which is fine. Wait! Why didn't it cancel me? It's supposed to cancel. Like, it interrupts channels, right? What? Casting Q interrupts channels. It has always worked like that. Okay, Vayne, Flash. Is he Ghost as well? No. Unnecessarily walked here, I could have gotten the recall. Uh, I'm gonna need the magic resist, I'm pretty sure. I'm so confused why my ultimate went through. Like, why didn't, why didn't Custard and Q ca cancel it? I'm gonna move here because they're engaging. Come on, Viego. Nice, well played. I don't think I can catch Janna because of her movement speed. And just keep on pushing wave. Push and peer down mid lane. Push the pawns. Uh, is there here? Big catch. Maybe kill. Oh, perfection, man. That's it, that's the catch. She thought we didn't have vision, but we had. Was that lane ward the reason why we had vision, by the way? I think it was. That lane ward is gold, that this one. Can we win the game? Yeah, I think we just reset now. We got Vladimir Rabadon. That's quite huge. The question is, do I go armor or magic resistance? I feel like Zeri is the one who kills me. So I think I will go... Invest. Especially since I have Anatemas on Kassadin. Mm. Health could also be an option. Yoink. The wave. Uh, two and a half minutes onto the Baron. We are so fast with Cloud Dragon. Oh no. I need to back off. 
my Vladimir is in trouble. Come on, Viago. You win this. Oh no, he doesn't win this, in fact. I wasted my E, got hit by Janna Tornado. I walked towards here. I'll play Vladimir. For more resistance, go down mid lane. I have a uh, TP ready. Hmm, spicy game. I tried to bait out her flash. We got her ghost. So I'm not actually in range there to E flash. I was very close to it, but not actually in range uh, because of her movement speed. Um, so I just E in an attempt to try to get the flash by mind gaming. Because obviously like if Shen is in from that far away, like she he has no other opportunity but to flash in order to hit it. It's a bit of a eh, eh, let's say advanced Shen technique because versus lower low opponents it's just gonna look troll because you don't get anything done. But especially in situations where you know that the enemy has flash and you know that they have the reaction time to dodge your E flash, then it makes sense. So usually casting from max range. I need to be super careful here, by the way, I can't show. Move towards mid lane, I think. I don't beat Cassidy on side lane. Away. But... Baron is an up in 20. I think I need to go to the sideline to get the wave. Otherwise Cassidy will go for our towers. But I can challenge him in a 1v1. I have ultimate now. I can ult and TP back to bot lane as well. That's a good hook. Wait, this is huge. If she he queues. That's big. I'm gonna keep I'm keeping him here by the way. I am keeping him here. He went here, right? I I will have enough to stop him. <laughs> he has no TP. I think we win. Chenna is up in four. He's not gonna make it. <laughs> Come on, team. Let's go. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Enemy custody couldn't do anything. Come on. That's how we negate the opponents right there. Oh. <laughs> you think you can't be useful if you can't kill the opponent? Nah. -uh. You can be very useful. <laughs> Drop a GG, well played. Master 518 LP. Solid game, that's perseverance right there. Uh, main top lane, it's not a fun matchup, right? Uh, enemy team comp was very difficult for me to play against, right? They got high damage, high range, high mobility, high everything. Very difficult for Shen to do stuff, but we managed to do it anyways. Fleet footwork was definitely the right call. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.